85,000 poor families living in Gaza. The quarterly check they receive from the Palestinian Ministry of Social Development is almost all they have to live on. The allowance of between $230 and $560 is dispersed every three months, but those families have only received one check since January, and it's unclear when they'll be getting another. Muhammad al-Najjar lives in one of the most crowded refugee camps in Gaza. He says that the delay in the disbursement of these payments has made their lives unbearable. I have a very big family. The $560 check we used to get was barely enough. But now that it was cut, how are we supposed to survive? Those who lend us money today will not lend us tomorrow. Gaza, which has one of the highest rates of poverty in the world, also has one of the highest rates of unemployment, reaching 49% this year. We are alive because of the welfare check. That money is how we buy everything and is how we buy clothes for our children. We are waiting impatiently for this so we can pay our debts. My little boy has been kicked out of kindergarten because of the fees, and every time I ask them to wait for the welfare check to be cashed, they tell me there will be no check. I don't know what to do, and I don't know where to get the money. The Palestinian Authority says that the reason for the delay in dispersing the welfare checks is the financial crisis the government currently suffers from. A few days ago, the European Union transferred nearly $18.5 million to the Palestinian Authority. It was the first EU financial support contribution in 2021, which had been delayed due to a lengthy administrative process. Rights groups in Gaza say the Palestinian Authority must bear its responsibility towards the vulnerable families in Gaza and find a way to help them, with or without outside financial assistance. The checks are not enough. So can we imagine what happens when they're delayed for more than 10 months? This requires a serious move by all parties to pressure the Palestinian Authority to fulfill its obligations and not invoke the European Union suspensions of these allocations or use it as an excuse. This is a duty that the Palestinian National Authority has to fulfill. According to the United Nations, more than a million people in Gaza are classed as moderately to severely food insecure. And without these quarterly welfare checks, thousands of Gazans will continue to be trapped in a cycle of scarcity and poverty. E